In RoboCop, Citizens Arrest Number 1, the series opens up a few years after the events of the RoboCop films, where we saw Omni Consumer Products hoodwink City Hall into authorizing an aggressive privatization of the Detroit police. The OCP created RoboCop, but he turned out to be the instrument of its destruction. History is on the verge of repeating itself, as the new owner of OCP has privatized and disbanded the DPD. We jump forward five years, and significant changes have occurred. A kind of utopia is created in a large part of Detroit. Those unable to afford to live in this new Detroit reside in a rundown neighborhood known as the Ruins. OCP OCP has recently introduced its newest law enforcement measure, called R-COP. It's an app that allows people to report crimes in progress for a small fee. If the information leads to a successful arrest, the app gives the user a substantial payout. Robotic police officers that constantly patrol the streets verify and handle these reports. Leo, a former Detroit police officer, discovers the whereabouts of Alex Murphy, the original RoboCop, and decides to pay him a visit. Leo learns that OCP has rendered Alex unable to even defend himself, forcing him into retirement. But Leo has a plan to make Alex RoboCop again.